Hi there, I'm Shara, and if you want to see what this witch does on the first day of autumn, hit that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe, and I will tell you right after this. Intro? Did it work? <laughs> Alright, so I don't have a magic intro. Hi there, I'm Shar. You are in the Simple Spells for the Home playlist, and welcome to the first day of autumn in my life. Uh, Alright, so today is Maybon, Maybin, Maybon, however you choose to say it. And being a solitary witch, there are many different ways that I have practiced this day to honor the harvest. It is the month of corn. We've had the full corn moon. We um, are waiting on harvest to happen. We've w watched many harvests happen already. Things are getting ready. The seasons are changing and we are getting ready for that transition. It's a beautiful transition. I love autumn. It's one of my favorite times of the year. So very excited to share this practice with you. It could also be called a ritual. However, I this is not something I rigidly do. So it is not a ritual to me right now. We are just practicing the honor of honoring the change of seasons. The fall equinox, Maybon, here we go. So today we are going to cover honoring the field, which I'm going to give you a visual. We are very blessed here. We have a visual to be able to um, to be able to thank a field for reaping its harvest. Okay, we are going to do, I'm going to make a corn dolly. I actually read in my book here, ah, leave my um, Amazon link down below so you can have a look a little bit more if that interests you. I've had this trusty book for many, many years. It is, oh, actually I think I've had it since I was, oh yeah. Probably like a good 20 years. I love that book. It's a great reference point, especially if you're a solitary. Um, Silver Raven Wolf does a great job of explaining everything. And I'm just going to talk to you about colors and reasons why I do things. Add a little bit of fire magic in there. So it's going to be very interesting. Okay, enough of this. Let's get started. All right, so I am going to do a couple of different things here today. And in honor of the season, I started with my clothing. I am wearing a brown shirt and my lovely orange sunrise sunset transitioning sort of sweater over it today. Um, the brown shirt also has pink and cream on it, but it just kind of represents the earth and how things at this point in the season, they start turning brown and yellows and golds and mustard and how the sun sets and it just, it's that golden hour where everything looks like gold because it's ready for the harvest or it's just been harvested. Um, I had the blessing of being in a field that was just harvested yesterday and being in the straw and down on the ground and touching the earth and it's just such an incredible feeling when you're able to honor um, thank a field for rendering its harvest when you're able to honor a field. So I'm going to put a clip in right here of looking out over the field in the back. One of the my favorite moments of beauty. Um, so here's a clip of the field so that you can take a moment to honor it. And I thank you, Field, for producing the food that it, it gets put on my table. Thank you, farmers. Thank you, everybody involved. So here we go. Okay, my friends. So part of this Maybon ritual, part of this practice, is also honoring a field that has already been harvested. And <laughs> dun, 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 right out my back gate here, we have been blessed to have a field. So there's been many, many things harvested in this field that we have seen. Right now the canola is waiting to be harvested. So we'll just thank the field and the harvesting process that happens in that field um, as we are doing this. And it's just being able to have this beautiful display right in front of us, it, we're very fortunate. So we can take this moment here. In a true <laughs> Mavon tradition, this field will be harvested. 
So thank you, farmer, for growing in the field. Now that we're back, you'll also notice on my altar here today that I'm performing this on, I've chosen a nice olive green. It's actually a, a shoulder wrap, a Pashima. And where, wherever it comes from, this is a beautiful like end of season green for me. So in front of me, I have a candle that I've put in a little cupcake tin. This is all metal and I've put some salt around it and I'm going to drip in I've got some food coloring here just drip it in around in the four directions three four and I'm thinking oops about how things grow with sunshine getting ready for the harvest how the cycle goes how this change in season is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful time to think about and be grateful for everything that's in front of us. Everything grows. Everything that's given to us has grown. So there we go in the nice fall colors. And all I've done is to put food coloring into the salt here to give it a little bit more enhancement. And so while I'm doing these other crafts, I'm going to light this candle and we've got the salt protection around it. I'll bring it in and show you. Okay, so there we go. Uh, and I've just used a little birthday candle. I don't need a great big candle for anything today. This is just a little thing <laughs> right on the altar here and those different little droplets enhancing the salt. All right, things that you're going to need. For this, I need a lighter, I need a candle, and my salt with the color in there. The fall, uh, uh, Maybon is a time for honoring the harvest that has come. So I've brought some of the harvest from our garden so that I can honor it. You know, Javi and I are very thankful. We say thank you to the things that grow around us. We very often talk to our fruits and vegetables. So it's a very natural thing already, corn. And um, I've got some colored twine here in fall colors, yellow, a couple of orange, some red, gray, green, cream, brown. This is just like a beautiful array of fall colors right there. And I have some corn stalk, or leaves, corn leaves. Okay. So, I am going to explain something that I have learned because reading in the big book here today, it says, make a corn dolly. Now, corn dollies I have seen on the internet because it's not what I have done before in the past and it is not what my brain took it to because of the experience I've had in my past. So the corn dolly, it talks about a Scottish corn dolly. And what it is, is um, in the Northwest Scotland, corn is oats. It's um, like, it could be barley, but it's ma mainly oats, which is the tall stalk, like wheat, right? Um, it's oats. And what it is, is five stalks put together and then woven to be a triangle with all the, the top of the seeds busting out the bottom here, just like dangling out. It's really beautiful. I highly recommend you look it up. And then it's braided and then hung up. Now, having a Scottish grandfather, I had never heard of that, so I thought I was being very exciting. So, that is something new that, yay, thank you to Google, there's research for it. Now, what I have done in the past, following um, pagan traditions, following visions that I've had with the corn stalks itself, thank you for the harvest, thank you for the bounty, thank you for enough to share. So, let's light this candle as we do this. 
and let it go as we create all these beautiful things. Be very careful when it comes to using fire um, because not only does it enhance things magically, it's very dangerous as an element as well. You guys, um, caution and science. All right. So I have my candle burning in my jar of salt, and bountiful harvest, bright blessings, the change of season, and maple. So what we would do with these corns is just make things out of them. Make a braid, we would um, create, just like play with things in the garden. So if you're gonna make a braid, you just need to take three of them together and then just a simple weave. Weaving magic is an amazing, amazing thing. Your intention that goes in behind it. So you know why I have a bazillion little pieces of autumn colored twine going on here is so that it can be tied off. If you're making a braid, There we go. And I love incorporating, in, incorporating? Including um, lots of fall colors. Hey, sunshine. Sunshine was coming out, celebrating autumn, celebrating the first day of fall. And I mean, for me doing this, this is something I'm gonna lay on my fire. We usually have a fire when it comes to a change of seasons and um, a lot of things happen around that fire. So I will probably lay this around the fire. The intentions that I'm putting in here right now are just fantastic. I have more on the floor. And I'm just sending thanks to my ancestors who have given me the knowledge. I am sending thanks for the abundance from our garden. I am thanking the harvest, the crops, the plants for growing, the seeds for being viable. You know, and these braids are a very good way to weave magic. It's been done by many cultures for many, many, many moons. And this is just a fun way that I have a beautiful braid here. So thank you for the harvest and the bounty and sharing and caring all the wonderful things there we go there we go all right so while this is not done specifically in a, a rigid order or manner these are things that i do to honor the season change to honor the time so there's our, our corn braid as a way that i do that and, and in the past, we, we've done other things like made ribbons and danced in the yard with this. Um, <laughs> trying to make little dolls, literally making little dolls out of the weaves of the plants. Um, just representing the things that have worked in the harvest, the people that it takes to do this and giving thanks for everything that has been created it's it's a big deal um, this season change and how things go and making things like that all happen it takes a it takes a team nature's got to be on your side so well I'm sure there are many different cultures that weave corn and other things for magical purposes. Um, this is just one of the things that I have learned to do and have been shown to do. Ah. And it really is fun letting, you know, as kids playing out in the <laughs> playing out in the garden because you know you're not gonna get in trouble for damaging things. And creating daisy chains and wonderful, wonderful things. <laughs> Those are great arms. Um, creating magical things out of 
sticks, you guys. That's all magic weaving. So, yeah, here we go. Oh, look! And then we're going to take this one, wrap it around here, and give it a bit of a top. Bit of a top. Bit of a top. There. And it doesn't need to be perfect. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So, when I talk about making little dolls, this is what I'm talking about. And it's just, you know, as you're weaving it around, as you're, as you're making the thing happen, it's... You see that? So my little representation of working in the garden and making it happen and being so grateful for that and weaving the magic of gratitude and thankfulness and bounty into the things that we're doing out there. And then if you want to take it a little step further, also you can weave in some string here or some yarn, I'm sorry, of different colors. To represent the different harvests, you know, like a. <laughs> oh, and there goes our fire. Thank you for that as well. And another little tie on here. So basically, what my point is with this, and especially if you like, I've been doing this with my kids forever. Now they're grown and doing their own thing. Um, but it's fun just to see what what happens when you let the imagination go and be thankful and grateful. So I'll just break this up real, real quick and show you. And you know what's really awesome is like the internet has information so you can have a look and learn more about history of where things come from, learn more about different traditions. <laughs> I'm just tucking this in. And my intention is to release this gratitude in a fire that we're going to have um, to my ancestors. Beautiful and share the bounty with them also. Oh, that's so pretty! So there we go. These are just a few little insights to the things that I do when it comes to our equinoxes and our Sabbaths. Um, this is Fall Equinox. Thank you so much for joining me here for this and allowing me to share my personal information with you. And just keep in mind that um, everybody practices a different path. And these are just a few ideas that I'm sharing with you. This is not my official um, ritual sequence. That's why I said it's like a practice. I'm just sharing the information. All right, you guys, bright blessings to you. Happy Maybon, happy Equinox. Um, enjoy the seasonal change. And yeah. Do your thing. <laughs> All right, you guys, click one of these boxes hanging out around my head. It'll take you to another whatever YouTube has in store for you or to this uh, simple Spells for the Home playlist. There we go. I'd love to have you subscribe and hit that notification bell. Boom, boom, boom. I do all sorts of random information, spells, and Tarot live stream twice a week, actually, and we do daily gratitude practice. Love to see you here for that as well. All right, you guys, I hope your day is great, and I'll see you next time on the channel.